Hi, I'm Julia Haller. I'm the ophthalmologist in chief here at Wells Eye Hospital, and I'm coming to you from the Wells Eye Alumni Society newsroom with my colleagues Tara Euler, who's our program director here at Wells, and Brad Feldman, who directs our academic global ophthalmology program, among other things. We want to update you a little bit on the recent AUPO meeting. The Association of University Professors of Ophthalmology celebrated its 50th year in Fort Lauderdale with a meeting that looked back at our history and looked forward strategically planning for the future. We had a lot of little theme things. I'm, I don't know if you can see my um, lapel pin here. Uh, this is our logo that we had designed for the 50th anniversary to celebrate. Uh, and our tagline was 50 years, one voice. Before the AUPO, there was really no organized voice for ophthalmology as a whole, particularly academic ophthalmology. And in the 50 years that the AUPO has been in existence, all of the di different departments of ophthalmology in the United States and Canada have been able to band together to advocate. Uh, originally, the, the first advocacy effort was for the National Eye Institute, but many other uh, awards and prizes, symposia, meetings, have evolved over those 50 years that help us all do the job that we do. We were particularly proud this year that one of those prizes, the Strathmo Prize, uh, was given to our program director, Tara Euler, to recognize her as the top program director in the country. Tara is too modest to say too much, but we're going to goad her into making a few comments about the prize, and, and, and she gave an, a wonderful awards lecture. Tara, did, how did you enjoy uh, being in the spotlight. You were probably too embarrassed <laughs> to enjoy it. Uh, it, was, it was really, um, it was an honor, of mm -hmm. course, um, but really it was a, an award that just recognizes all program directors, which is something that's impressive that the AUPO has supported uh, so strongly. Um, and, uh, but I think what was interesting, if I could play back to what you said about the history of the AUPO and being its 50th year, I think one of the things we enjoyed very much about the meeting was the, there was a historical video, and what was neat about it is they were the same people that you were sitting at tables with, working and talking with during the day. And I was joking with someone was kind of like being at the Oscars for ophthalmology because all of these live people were coming off the screen mm -hmm. and they're kind of sitting and talking with you. So I think it's just uh, reinforces that all these tremendous people give their talent and time and volunteer it. So yep. yeah, the 50th Alex. year, it's pretty impressive to hear that history and see these people. One of the really great symposia was on international ophthalmology. And there's such an interest now on the part of all the academic departments in global ophthalmology and developing programs, particularly for those of uh, the, the residents and the medical students in training. Brad Feldman gave a great presentation talking about our program and then also ran a uh, breakfast with the experts table uh, one of the mornings that, w that was very well received too. Brad, what, what would your comments be about uh, the APO and, and, and your part in it and, and the interest generated. Yeah, was, this was my first time attending the AUPO and I thought it was a wonderful conference. It was, I was a bit in awe of all these chairmen and program directors who had met before, but not, not all of them, certainly not all of them in one place, and it was great to be with this audience. Um, I thought the International Symposium was a great um, event that was well attended, and we generated, there was a lot of interest obviously already in bringing residents and trainees abroad. And that was the subject of the talk that I gave in the, the symposium was you know, how, in, how are different programs approaching global ophthalmology and how, where are we reaching success and where are we having challenges and how can we learn from one another. And so in the symposium we shared the ways that our international program works at WILS, the WILS International Residency Experience or WIRE. And so it was a great, great time to share experiences with program directors from all across the country. Sure, and we've and a lot of interest in, in practical issues. Yeah. You know, um, what about when the country is in uproar? You know, and you and you planned a rotation there. What happens? Uh, how do how do you handle insurance issues, illness issues, family issues? And, and, uh, a lot of interest in the nitty gritty. And uh, I was very proud of the Wills program because we really led the way in terms of troubleshooting uh, some of those some of those issues. Yeah. Yeah, I think that we've been we've been fortunate that we have such a large alumni network and such um, direction from our leadership that this is something important that we want to be doing at Will's Eye, that we've had the resources to overcome some of the challenges that we've encountered as one country maybe is no longer politically stable, we can bounce over to someplace else that is safe for a resident to go to. So we've been fortunate. So I, it, it was clear at the meeting that global 
interest is going to be on the radar screen for academic programs around the country. Very proud of uh, Will's showing at the AUPO meeting. Our um, own Bruce Markovitz, who's head of the Medical Student Education Program here at uh, Thomas Jefferson University and, and at Will's, was elected to a leadership role. So we were, we were proud of that. And then on the program director side, we had uh, Tara, a uh, lot of uh, participation in the program with Brad there in international ophthalmology, and um, I had the privilege of being president. So we, we, we had a good team uh, down in Fort Lauderdale, and I uh, think a lot, of, a lot came out of the meeting in terms of strategic planning for the future. So thank you all. Thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you. We're in the Wills Eye Alumni Society newsroom, media room here at Wills Eye Hospital. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.